Hello friends, welcome back to the Python programming session. In today's session, let's cover how we can iterate through a dictionary. So friends, we all know that dictionary is a important data type in Python programming language. It has a key and a value. Key, value, key, value. So it has got key and value pairs. And each key and value pair in a dictionary is called an item. So today let's see how we can iterate through a dictionary. So here let's cover four different types of iteration through a dictionary. The first one is iterate over the keys. So when we iterate the dictionary and we want only the keys, then the first method is taken into consideration that is iteration over the keys. When we iterate it over the keys, we get Ram, Sam and then Shah. The second method is iterating over values. When we iterate over values, we get the value that is 70, 50 and then 45. In the third method, it is iterate over the key value pair. So when we give the key value pair, we get Ram 70, Sam 50, Sham 45 in the tuple format. And the fourth method is assign key and value to individual variables. So when we assign key and value to individual variables, the key name key will be having Ram, value is 70. Key is Sam, value is 50. Key is Sham and value is 45. So now let's see the first method how we can get the keys from the dictionary that is Ram, Sam and then Sham. So for this, let me consider a for loop for name in dict1. So this is my dictionary. So for name in dict1 colon print name. So when I give this statement, name is the iterating variable. For name in dict1, print name. So when I give this particular statement, it will give, it will give out only the key values that is Ram, Sam and then Sham. So it prints Ram, Sam and then Sham on the console. It won't give the values because when we iterate over the dictionary 1, Without giving any key or value or items, then by default, it will give the key values that is Ram, Sam and then Shah. Now, if we want to get the values that is 70, 50, 45, then we have to use, go to the second method that is iterate over values. So, how can we get the values 70, 50 and 45? So, for marks, in dict1 dot values we have to specify so the method dot values when we specify dict1 dot values and then if i say print marks here marks is the iterating variable it can be any variable i have taken marks as the iterating variable so for marks in dict one dot values, since I'm using the method dot values, it will fetch only the values that is 70, 50 and 45. So on the console, we get 70, 50 and then 45. So here by default, when we don't specify anything, we get the keys and we spe when we specify dict one dot values, we get the values associated, values, it will iterate over the values present in the dictionary. And now the third one is iterate over the key value pair. So when we want both the key and the values, then we have to go for this particular method. For pair in dict1 dot items 
prepare. So here items means it is a key and a value pair. So when we take values method, we get only the values. When we don't consider anything but specify just dict1, we get the keys. When we give dict1.items, we get both the key and the value in the tuple format. So the output would be in the tuple format ram 70 sam 50 sham sorry 45. So we get it in the tuple format both the key and the value, key, value, key and the value. And now if we want, so this was in the tuple format with just one variable. If we give two variables, then it will be en en captured in two particular variables. That we shall, we shall see in assign key and value to individual variables. So for this, let me say for name for name comma marks in dict1 dot diction items dot items print name colon this is the printing statement comma name this is, this is the variable name and then again i'll say with the semicolon marks colon and then comma marks so friends here I am giving using two variables. In the previous one, I was using only one variable. And in a tuple format, we got both the key and the value. Now, if I give two variables, the first variable will have the key and the second variable will hold the value. So, I have given item. So, it will take key and then value. Name will have the round. Marks will have 70. And for the next iteration, name will have Sam, marks will have 50. And for the next iteration, name will be having Sham and marks is equal to 45. So, when I give my print statement in this particular format, it will give name. Then instead of name, it will write Ram. So, Ram. Then a semicolon. Marks and marks is equal to 70. So to print in this particular format. For the next iteration, it will say name Sam Marks 50. And for the third iteration, it will give name. Sham marks 45. So, in two variables, name and marks, it is holding the key and the value. But here, in a single variable, in the tuple format, it is holding the key and the value pair. So, when we want both key and value, we have to specify items, dict1.items dict one dot items. When we want only values, we have to specify dict one dot value. Sorry, when we want only values, we have to specify dict one dot values. And we want the keys, we have to just specify it as dict one. So these are the different ways in which we can iterate over the dictionary as dictionary contains key and value to separate entities are present. So, hope so friends, it is clear for you how to iterate over the keys, how to iterate over the values, how to iterate over the key value pair and how to assign key and value to individual variables.
So hope so friends it is clear for you. If you have any doubts please do reach to me out in the comment section. If you liked my video click on the like button and please do subscribe to get notifications of my new videos. Till then see you bye bye.